Miss Jenny here from the Flossmore Library. How is everybody doing this Saturday? Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Storytime with Miss Jenny. Um, today I have two books for you guys. Um, so let's get started. So I'm reading this with permission from Simon and Schuster Publishers. Um, Who Who by David A. Carter. Who, who is that on the cover? So this book is about, about shapes. You guys have to guess what animal you think this is by looking at the shapes, okay? Let's see. Hmm, what do you guys think that is? I don't know. Let's turn the page and find out. <gasps> what is that? It's a lamb. What does the lamb say? Bah. Bye. Yep. Let's see what the next one is. Hmm. What animal do you think that is? To Miss Jenny, that looks like a hedgehog, but we'll find out. <gasps> totally wrong. What is that? It's a frog. What does the frog say? Ribbit, ribbit. Yep. Let's see what this next animal in these shapes are. Oh, this one, I don't know. Very abstract. Let's see. A goose. I would have never guessed that. Honk, honk. That's what the goose says. He does. Okay, let's see our next one. Hmm, this one's really hard. There's not many things on this page. Hmm. Let's find out. What do you guys think? <gasps> mice! Little mice! Hmm. <laughs> squeak, squeak, squeak. That's what the mice sound like. This one. What about this one, guys? I don't know. Let's turn the page and find out. <gasps> We all know what that is. It's a cat. It's a little kitty. What does the cat say? Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Okay. What is this guy? I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. Let's turn the page and find out. Ooh. It's an owl. What does the owl say? Hoo, 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 hoo. Oh, look at all these. Uh, can you guys guess what all these shapes make? Let's turn the page and find out. They're all the shapes. All the animals. The owl, the sheep, the mice, the cat, and the goose. And the person in the background saying, be quiet, because they are loud. <laughs> ooh, ooh, that was cute. Did you guys like that one? Super cute. All righty, and our last book I have here is, um, let's see. So HarperCollins Publishing, Bowser and Bray imprint. Um, thank you guys for letting us read this book for our... Uh, for our library. Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> um, so this is called Love Triangle by Marcy Colleen and Bob Shea. So let's see. Love Triangle. and Square's friendship had a shape of its own. Square was a bookworm when Circle liked to bounce into the action. Circle admired Square for all his good points. Square loved that his best friend really knew how to rock and roll. Oh yeah, rock and roll. Uh-oh. Until a wedge came between them. Well, not really a wedge. 
more like a bold and exciting triangle. A triangle came between them. At first, small things change like lunch. Want to share my grilled cheese? No, thank you. I'm suddenly craving pizza. And at the library, a new book about basketball. Where are books on Egyptian pyramids? Hmm, look at all the shapes. Alrighty, let's see. Then bigger things. You look so small, way down there, circle. I'm going to ace this test, triangle. You are the perfect study buddy. I thought we, never mind. He was so sad. Everything seemed to become triangular. Triangle is so fast, he can dart quicker than anyone I know. Triangle is so sharp, he's going to help me with my next project. Triangle said he once soared higher than the birds, and Triangle said these are the kinds of shorts they wear in Bermuda. Hmm. Hey guys, do you want to play double dutch? I will. No, I will. Why don't you ask your best friend? Why don't you ask your best friend? <gasps> oh. Let's see. Circle and Square's friendship was bent out of shape. <laughs> Triangle decided something needed to be done. Dear Circle, would you like to come over to my house on Saturday? Love, Triangle. Meanwhile, Square received something special of his own. Dear Square, would you like to come over to my house on Saturday? Love, Triangle. Uh-oh. Let's see what's going to happen. Come Saturday, they both showed up on Triangle's doorstep. Wait, what are you doing here? Wait, what are you doing here? Needless to say, it was awkward. Circle and square stay glued to triangle sides. Grilled cheese, anyone? I brought my party hat. Hmm. Square block circle and circle block square. Square pulled triangle one way and circle pulled triangle the other way. Until, what do you think's gonna happen? Let's see. Everything became pointless. Look what you did! Look what you did! Triangle couldn't take it any longer. I've had it up to my apex. You both crossed the line. Uh-oh, he's not very happy. Circle and square panic. Circle grabbed one end of the triangle and raced around and around, but succeeded only in making a mess. Square tried a different angle, but it was no use. No use. They couldn't just leave Triangle like that. Square buried his nose in research. Circle practiced his moves. And then, uh-oh. I have an idea. Plan A. Let's see. See what he's doing? Uh-oh. See if that's going to work, guys. Pop! Oh, he flew across. Let's see if that happened. Oh, circle, you did it! It was really your idea. Bunk! I think we made quite a trio. So nobody is left out. Nope, three best friends. From that day forward, circle, square, and triangle's friendship took on a shape of its own. The end. Super cute, love triangle. That was a good book. Both of them were good books. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to Storytime today. And I hope you guys have a nice weekend. And I will see you guys next weekend. Hmm, Miss Jenny might be dressed up. Because what's next Saturday? Halloween. Yep, 
So I might be dressed up. Hmm, I wonder what I'm gonna be. Put some guesses in the comments below and guess what Miss Jenny is gonna be next Saturday. All right, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you next time. Bye.